And what advice would you give to owners who are looking to include BIM in their next project? Well, I think, you know, we're at a point where, you know, you, you can't go any day now without people sort of saying they're doing BIM. I think the, the real thing now is to begin setting metrics. I think if we, if, if a builder can't sort of say, here are the direct benefits that we're getting in time and cost. Um, for example, we've, we've done metrics on um, savings of um, RFI change orders. And we, we now know that uh, on a major project like a hotel, that we're saving um, by avoiding a change order uh, $17,000 because that's the average cost. We, we did uh, some metrics where we found that um, on 10 uh, major projects that uh, the average cost of a change order is uh, $17,000. On the Ritz-Carlton project, our very first project, we found over 450 change orders that we were able to avoid through the model. So if you do the math, that's about uh, $6.7 million that we saved. The other savings that we're finding that we have metrics on is in, in terms of uh, coordination efforts, we now know that uh, we have saved over $185,000 on that same project just in reduced meeting time, travel, and not printing um, all the paper that we used to print in the coordination efforts. So uh, our average um, coordination meeting has gone down from five hours down to an hour and a half. And very often uh, our subtrades, uh, we use uh, FEC, we use GoToMeeting um, for those meetings so people don't even go to the trailer anymore. So everyone sort of stays in their office and coordinates virtually. And that uh, has tremendous cost savings, plus it's a much greener way of doing by not uh, having all those uh, carbon emissions by driving around or flying to uh, sites for meetings.